what's going on guys mv astro here back at it with another video so today is the same day that we filmed the uh torture test for the 1600 milliamp china hobby lines but said hendo aka your baby daddy he got something i want to try and i have not even touched this radio well i just i just spoiled it but basically you can probably tell by the thumbnail or the title of this video but basically he has a new x light right in front of us i've seen it he's only shown it to me i told him not to hand it to me because i wanted to feel the quality give you guys my authentic first impression so let's go ahead and show you guys the radio so what you got oh, here it is check it out check it out i got this thing man it took for freaking ever i know some of you have probably ordered it too and checked it out probably seen everybody's videos on it and how it works and this and that you know you know that don't matter we're gonna get my boy's first impression on Let's this do thing that, and see dude. how he, I'm excited. See how he feels about it. So, I'm excited. Check it out. There's this a couple reasons why. Let me see. I'm actually excited just for the fact that it comes in a case that literally I can take my goggles, I can take this, I can put a battery in my pocket in my quad, and I can walk off and go fly a little bit. All right, you know, all right. It's, it's nice and durable, all right? All right. So, so first off, first off, how, how much is it worth? Well, you know, depends on what you get with it. Because for me, I got batteries, I got a battery charger. Oh, with that? Yeah, yeah, I had to. It's separate stuff, so I okay, just ordered okay. it along. With How much is just the radio? The radio is like 120 bucks or something like that. All right, well, I'll put some info on the screen yeah. for you guys, like with the price and like I guess yeah. different packages. Well, well, yeah, it depends on where you get it from. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead so and take a, a look at case. this. You open it up and this is what you get. It's so check nice. Check it out. Dude. Even the little foam pad just fits over that's perfect. That's nice. That's Keeps nice. Keeps it in there, right? So it also has these little gimbal guards, which right, I like. Right. Don't need to get anything 3D printed. But there it is, bro. There it <laughs> Dude, is. That thing looks so sick. Just look at that. Hey, so let, let me give you a little walk around. All right, let, let me, me see. I'm turn it on here. All right. You all press right. and hold it. Welcome to Open TX. So it's still running like the so same Open for TX? The mo for the most part. You have all to right. put some things on it, but it will run straight out the box. Uh, all you got to do is, uh, you know, just bind up your it radio. It looks so I mean, freaking your, your good. Quad and it's good. Um, very, very simple little radio. I mean, the switches work good. Dude, it has even little sliders, man. If, if okay, you wanted to put okay. an, an external antenna on, you could. It's just oh, right is that what you mean about it may be a little bit uh, pricier? Yeah, if you want to get an okay, antenna, okay. that's going to change the price a little bit, obviously. Uh, but there's a built-in antenna to it, mm -hmm. so you don't really need an external. I've, man, I've flown this sucker out so far. I don't even think I need an external. You don't need a uh, crossfire because I no. think that was my main concern when I saw it online. Uh -huh. People were talking about it doesn't have an external module for people that run crossfire. You and can, you can I, I don't different know. things up to it. It has a little little bitty bay door on the back. My hands are kind of slippery right now, but it has a little bay door on the back. But this see. is proprietary to the Free Sky stuff. Oh, okay, so, okay. So that's going to LR9 or something. Yes, like that? Yes, exactly. And that's going to actually sit right on here, just perfectly. All right, it's here. Um, so go ahead and, and hand it to me because all right, I want to see what this thing like. Here, let's go, let's go ahead and put this camera on the little uh, stand over here, and then I'll give you guys my first impressions. All right, so hand me this radio. All right, there you let's go. See, dude. Check it out. The, the main reason I'm excited, <laughs> dude, is because I'm a freaking gamer. I and, know you and are. I, I, I uh, use my thumbs to fly, so. All right, so let's see, dude. I, I love these grips already. I could just tell the grip right here is, <laughs> is nice. So get in the camera, man. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just checking you out, man. Let I'm just checking see. you out here. What you say? Dude, I, I'm loving the grips. I yeah. can definitely see this being a huge help whenever I'm racing because sometimes, you know, whenever you're just sitting there, so, you, you like get tensed yes, up and yes, like your yes. hands start like sliding out of place. So I don't know, how, how have you found that? For me, my hands don't move. They're just there. Uh, dude, with this, you don't even need like it, a, a no, thing. Like, no so lanyard light. necessary, nothing. I, I sit down now. I so. even thought about that when I first ordered. I was like, man, dang, I, I mean, it don't even have a spot for a Gimbal's lanyard. How really good nice. can this thing be, you know? Buttons actually have a nice, these, these, dude. These, these little buttons feel slightly like, you know, a little, yeah, little yes. low quality. The little two, two yeah. right there, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's the turn this thing back cool. on. Dude, I'm liking this little feel right here. It's like yes. nice and smooth, very nice. Yeah. I do like that they kept these short. Look, yes. this is this is a, a good, nice thing because like sometimes some people don't even may not use the case. I know like for my Tyrannus, I don't use the case, and like some of my switches have actually broken. So I yeah. like how they kept it nice and short for that. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Gimbals are nice. What kind of gimbals does this have? M9s. The, the M9 yeah. uh, hog gimbals. That's probably why they feel very, very yeah, similar, dude. They're really good. I'm freaking liking this, dude. Like I'm telling you, I'm a. So rest, my... rest your fingers where Let you would see. normally like where you do. Yeah. Right here, they they rest right at the. Uh, yeah. And I have pretty large hands though, so this I. This mean, is a large hand. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Smack them. Anyway, I do have some pretty big hands, so I do like the feel of this. Like it doesn't feel big in my hand. It feels perfect. It feels like my Xbox remote. If you guys know, I've been playing Fortnite, so 
I know what an Xbox One remote feels like, you know? So Fortnite. <laughs> you mean so, playing Fortnite? <laughs> dude, so so far, I'm liking the quality. I give it like 10 being the highest, one being the lowest quality. I'll probably give it like about a I want to say an eight or eight and a half because the gimbals are actually really nice. I'm liking the low switches just due to the fact that they might not break in your bag if you use them like that. I'm liking these grips hey, too. It comes with so, the case. There's no and reason. And it comes with the case too. And, and it's not too that, big. Exactly, dude. So that might even fit in my case. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get my very first flight with this and then see if I feel any difference compared to my Tyrannus. So you're definitely going to feel the it. difference. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, here we are. By the way, I'm not flying my quad. I'm this playing Set Squad on yeah. 6s. It's a 6s setup. What props are those? Dude, you don't know what these is? You want to be the 2s's? Yes. All right. Anyway, so, but don't pay attention to the quad itself. I'm not gonna be uh, giving you guys my first impressions on the quad. I'm gonna be giving my first impressions on this. What I feel, because I'm excited about this. This is my very first time flying a quad, even touching it. So, I'm you, liking you, the feel, you, dude. You, can, you can check out the quad too, but he's gonna be fine. good, so. man. I'll tell you about your quad a little later. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm recording yeah. already. What did you say your arms was this one? Yeah, the top left. Dang, it feels so awkward, dude, because like, these sticks are a lot shorter than what I'm usually used to. So, I don't want to break these. Just be careful with my quad, then. Okay, you know what I'm noticing right away? What's that? So like this radio, since the gimbals are smaller. Yeah. And like, there's not, how can I describe this? I don't have to move a bigger range. That's right. Like it feels like all my movements are very subtle, but that also may be uh, because of your rates. That's right. And by the way, your tune doesn't feel locked in, dude. It feels wobbly. Does it? Yeah, but we're, we're not, we don't care about the tune right now. No, we don't. So yeah, like have, uh, Justin Skinner has, uh, that analogy that he always tells is like a small steering wheel versus a big uh, steering wheel. That's right. That he always mentions in the group. That's what it feels like. So like everything has to be very subtle with this radio. Like I barely move and I'm already almost at the end of uh, the sticks it feels like. But I'm liking the overall feel in my hands. Like it has a good weight to it. I don't need a neck strap. I don't stand uh, and fly anymore. So I don't really mind that. I sit down. But I, I am really liking how it just molds into my hands that's very nice gimbals feel super smooth too did you change the gimbal by any chance like from stock settings yes i was trying to change them i got a little bit of tension on it and i also have it where it is um it's not spring loaded on the uh throttle okay okay so yeah these feel very nice though like you know i have m9s on my tyrannus so it feels very nice but like right now i picked up my tyrannus and compared it to this and the tyrannus just feels like wider, you know, whenever yeah. in my hands, it feels. Oh shoot! What happened to your quad? What happened? What happened? Where you at? I don't know. It's just like desync or something. Uh oh. Leave it. Leave it up to you. Always your stuff. Why did that, why did that happen to me? <clears throat> Nothing broke. Oh, it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. <clears throat> Nothing broke. No, it's it's a little warm though, which is strange. It's oh, all right. So, dude, so like, I got your hand stick movements uh -huh. and your hand movements. Yeah, yeah. You your hands look comfortable on it yeah dude they feel freaking awesome like they're just melting in there and like they feel really good I like so that. but the sticks are something that you you got to get used to so those are a little different for you then right yeah yeah. like as far as like you saw me i wasn't flying yes. too bad but i yes. wasn't pushing it either but i mean it felt natural but that just that the difference that i noticed like right away was like if say for example like if i wanted to roll usually on my roll i have to like swing it all the way a little yes. bit longer yes. this one says it's so short yes i don't have to yes was, well that was my very very first but that you know that's a setting thing you can change that however yeah, you want to you can set that mm -hmm. on the, on the exactly the, um, the rates with that and mess with that stuff but i mean it didn't bother me but that's what i noticed like right away and then another thing i noticed was uh the gimbals the gimbals are super super smooth but i mean you you yes. can change them to yes. however you want if you want that right. clicky thing right yes that too. that's right and then you had an issue with this thing too right when yes came, i did the issue? the issue was when i put the there's a, a little kind of a grub uh -huh. screw that you screw all the way down let's talk on the stand yeah sure sure so i'm gonna cut it and then we'll talk on the stand oh all right, my cool. God, he's gonna all right, so like I was saying, what were you asking me? Oh yeah, yeah, I asked you, uh, you had like a little issue with your throttle, right? Whenever yes. you just got it in the box? So when I got it, um, it had the spring-loaded throttle, okay? So it comes <clears> with a screw, a kind of a long grub screw that you put in through the back right here. Let me show you. This is your throttle side over here. You put a screw in right there. Toes. I have the little caps on. But you put a little screw in, and what that screw does is allows your throttle to be 
uh, free, smooth, no stops in it, no springing back into the middle. Because normally it comes with it springing into the middle. Now your yaw, it still springs in the middle, but your throttle doesn't anymore if you put that screw in. Now, when I put the screw in, it didn't have any tension on the actual throttle itself, on, on the stick itself. So it would, you could bring it up and it would flop back down. But mine wouldn't flop all the way back down. And then I was like, well, why won't it go all the way down? I could actually push it down and it would pop back up just a little bit. So I had to pop the radio open. And what I found out is the wires actually going to the gimbal um, were zip tied to a part in there and it was keeping tension on that stick. So even when you push it down, it would just slightly and pull it, it back like up. And it came like that out of the box? And it came like that out of the box. So all I had to do is just slide the little wire that's uh, zip tied in there down a little bit which released some of the tension and it would flop all the way okay, down okay. so at that point then i set my tension on the stick here and and everything was golden so it was this no big deal so big now it is big compared to this. here put it right there so look, let's compare that thing dude look, no hold on, hold on let me put it right over the top of it look look at that thing dude that's crazy smaller right smaller screen too and yeah. everything i mean smaller <clears> screen <throat> but the resolution's way way better <laughs> it, it, it is and i like well okay so what i don't know if you guys understood what i meant so see look, look bring that up here so just notice how uh my row my row pitch i have to like swing this all the way out here you know like i have more more room and then with this one i don't have to move it as much and everything is just so subtle you know it moves quicker but i mean your rates yeah. have to do a lot with that yeah. i don't know how different that that is uh to what my rates are but it didn't feel too different yeah but I'm liking the radio. I think it'll be really, really nice for people that use thumbs. But yeah. then Taylor right now said he didn't really like it. But you know, I'm a hybrid. I use a thumb on my right yeah, stick and I, use, and I pinch See, on the left. So so how does that feel to you, though? It, it feels totally feels natural. natural. It's, you know, there's nothing in the way. When I, when I, because I hold it like this first, uh -huh. right? And I just grab it here. Yeah, and there's really nothing isn't. in my way. On the Tyrannus, I have two switches right here. Yeah, so when right. I do go full throttle, yeah, I have the potential to hit those sometimes, right. especially I would have my, my uh, arm switch right uh -huh. here. So as of right now, while I'm holding this thing, just doing this is no big deal, man. It's actually really easy. I, I like that, dude. Yeah. I think I may buy one of these. I never said I didn't like it. I said it felt weird with the short throw. <sighs> this okay. dude, but man, that's just something Taylor Handicock, for y'all that don't know. <laughs> Handycock is his pilot handle. But anyway, yeah, he checked this out last race we were at. He's like, man, that feels strange. And he flew with it. And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, but, I you like know, everyone it. has like their, their own feel and whole ex own experience with it. And it's up to you to decide what's best for you. First of all, the thing that I think is the best mm -hmm. is the price. The price, dude. This is what, not ridiculous. Right? Well, yes. Is? Yes. Just right That's around so in there. Cheap, it's, it's not expensive Any at all. you guys want to buy a Tyrannus? A <laughs> hundred bucks? Um... It comes with things that, uh, frankly, the Tyrannus, the full-size Tyrannus, uh, yeah, never came with. The QX7 or any of those never came external with. Uh, external antenna too, right? External antenna you can put on. It has an internal antenna, which works fantastic. I mean, I've flown full football fields, no problem. That's the first thing Have I check. you a fail safe with this? No fail safes, no, no fail nothing. Safe. Nothing. Crossfire gave I haven't got anything. Yeah, Crossfire <laughs> didn't give me a couple of fail safes. That's all right. I ain't, I'm not going to mess with you, TBS. It's all right. But all in all i think it's a great radio now if you are um someone that is particular about having a, uh, a radio that's larger you feel like there's you know there's some value in that then obviously you want to stick with those but all in all when you're a racer this is pretty much all you need Dude, man. if you come from a gaming background i think you'll really like this I, I come from a gaming background and i really like this it feels very very nice it feels like i'm actually playing a video game now yeah. Dude, maybe i'll come out and fly more <laughs> no, I, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. But hey, I give this a, a thumbs up. Let me see. I already rated it in the quality scale, and like an eight, eight and a half. And uh, as far as like my overall feel. I think I'm gonna buy one. What do you think, think about the color I chose, man? The you know, color is sick, my favorite, dude. The right? color it's is sick, sick. dude. A <laughs> white, a white and red one would look sick. A white you know, and Adam red would, be all over that. would look so yeah. sick, dude. But this yeah. red is nice. Yeah. See, I'm definitely gonna be buying one of these because I, I like it. So hey, if anybody's interested in the Tyrannus, a hundred bucks. And, and you know, by the way, I wanted to point out something. What? Look at this dude's antenna. It's been this way since I've okay. known him. Okay. And, and but see, no antenna to break exactly. right here. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Unless you have an internal antenna, external yeah, antenna. Yeah, unless you and have even external. then, you could just take yeah, it off. Yeah, even then, yeah, you can just. So it that's the a thumbs up already, right there. And yeah, like right. I said, look at all these switches. <laughs> Some of them are broken. And what I like about that, they kept it short. So let, let me ask you a question. Uh, How many of those switches do you actually use? Two. Two. And I'm glad that they have four. This has four. 
you really only need the ones that are closest to the hand that you're going to be using, right? Mm -hmm. So if you like keeping your hand on that right stick and you don't want to change nothing, then you don't have to. Exactly. You can use the one that's on the left, whatever it is. This, I, obviously, has been a great radio for all of us. Mm -hmm. I'm still not going to retire, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it on I'm some quads just, just for the heck of it. But all my race quads, boom, here it is. So, hey. You guys got my first impressions. I know it was kind of like a review unboxing type thing. Not really. Not really. It wasn't no. really a review. Oh, shoot. It was raining already. I just yeah, saw yeah. lightning. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions on this. Thank you very much, Mr. Yo Baby Daddy, for letting me borrow your radio getting my first impressions. But with that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and peace out.